people are put at risk for blood clots with prolonged immobilization of the legs. So whether this is on a long airplane flight or being in a cast or being immobile for a long period of time, uh, the blood may just go ahead and clot and break free later on and go into the lungs. The risk of blood clots in the legs is that when they break off, they can travel to the lungs and cause difficulty breathing and can even cause death. In most cases, the body will break down those blood clots. They're always formed and, and broken down by the body, but in some cases, they'll, not only will they form, but they'll propagate and then move on, and the risk for blood clots in the legs is when they move up to the lung and cause difficulty breathing. Prolonged sitting at, at an office chair or office desk is not going to necessarily form a blood clot. Plot. If you're getting up and moving around, going to the bathroom, going to uh, meetings, going to eat, that's enough activity during the day to keep blood clots from forming. When we're talking about prolonged periods of immobility, we're really speaking of multiple, multiple hours in a row. Not even, let's say, an airplane flight from St. Louis to New York or LA, but possibly if you're going to Asia, that's a very long period of time for you not to be moving. So the recommendation is that you get up, you stretch, you move around, you move your toes, um, and you move your legs. It, some people even recommend taking an aspirin before going on a trip, but that you should really discuss with your own doctor. Blood clots in the legs are usually going to present in a unilateral fashion, so just one leg, and you can have pain and swelling. Most of the time you're going to notice it in the calf. Uh, the, if a blood clot goes to the lungs, you, most of them people don't even notice. However, you can have shortness of breath, chest pain, especially sharp pain when breathing in, um, weakness, dizziness, lightheadedness. So those symptoms really should be evaluated by your doctor. Other risk factors for blood clots in legs would be if you have recently had surgery, if you have had a leg in a cast, uh, if you are on birth control pills or estrogen replacement, if you have a history of cancer, and if you've had a history in your family of having blood clots.